Welcome guys to episode 26 of building a clone base. In today's episode we're gonna do the lights on the inside. As you can see the clone base is a mess. It's a totally a big mess. It's nothing like you saw in the episode before this um, with the roof etc on it but we have to do some reworking just for the lights to work. So I'm currently redoing the mat bay just because we needed to have some lights in here. I'm creating a light shaft that I can use to connect all those lights in our rooms to this little connection board that's inside here. Uh, I'll show you guys in a minute. To be able to create this little shaft for the lights, we had to extend the mat bay with two studs. That wasn't a problem. We just took away this two by two tile and then we extended this wall. So that is something I'll be doing in this episode, reworking this, install all those lights, install the lights on top of that and probably install lights here. I've already installed some lights over here. Um, I'm just not quite happy with the sturdiness over here. So I'll have to see if I can make that better, uh, but I will definitely show you guys uh, the progress on that in a second. So without anything further to say, let's continue working on this here. Back to a little updates. As you guys can see, I've managed to put all the cables in here. It's very dark in here, but all the cables are connected to the connection board that's inside this wall here. So I'm very happy that I've been able to accomplish this. Now it's just a matter of making this wall higher as well as installing the uh, command center on top of it. It's also a big shaft. And then all those cables need to run along the ceiling and for that I'll probably use these small pieces with a hole in it um, just put one close to the ceiling where I can put all the cables through and you guys will not be able to see it that well even though like yeah you can of course see the ceilings but it will be hard to, because we have those borders here as well so yeah you guys won't be able to see it and all the cables will be nicely tucked away so that's great progress other than that i recreated this design that we have over here on the other side i also made something nice this is a design that i used a while ago probably two years ago but it's a control panel where you can like use the levers uh, they work they can move up and down and uh, they stay put, you can't pull them out of there. So a very sweet design to use in MOX. Uh, it's been a while that I've used this, but uh, I'm happy that I could integrate it in this mock. So yeah, let me make some more progress for you guys. As you guys can tell, we have some more progress. Underneath here, I was able to install all those lights along the ceiling. You can see the cable that comes through the wall over here. That hole is connected to this light shaft that we have over here uh, with all those cables inside. Now it's just a matter of fact to install these lights above our command center and then run some cables along the ceiling that we made in last week's episode. And other than that, we really have to rebuild this part, rebuild, yeah, put all the pillars down. Uh, fix some stuff so we can put on the roof and then we can install those lights underneath the roof So we still have some work to do, but we're making good progress I've been working on this design here. This is a lamp design uh, To hang on the ceiling of our mock just because I wanted something that looked nice at the ceiling I didn't want to just put these on the ceiling. Um, I mean it works that way, but it's much nicer to build something out of Lego around it, just to have a real like feeling that it's all uh, integrated with each other. I've been making this modular light design, as you guys can see. The light is nicely tucked away in it and it will shine bright through these two windows. I don't know the complete effect yet. Uh, these lights on their own give a really nice, big, um, heavy uh, lightning but these lights integrated in this little lamp design, I don't know yet. So we'll have to see how that works, but I know that the lights were very bright. Uh, so I don't think that will be a problem. I just think that will look way nicer. Then I um, incorporated these little things to hang the cables at the ceiling, uh, just because some cables are a bit longer than they should be, so we can like use these to uh, make the cables a bit shorter. 
Other than that, I've incorporated this little lamp design as well above this area here, the lower hanger. Then we have a normal lamp design over here, just because it worked out this way. Uh, I wanted an extra cable to put on top of here because we're working on some secret improvements, um, so to speak, for the finale of this mock. So we wanted um, more light above here and with, by using this little light design over here, we have an extra cable that can run across the ceiling upstairs to the top part, so that's great. All the cables are nicely tucked away in this little shaft, like you guys can see, we have a hole here, a hole here, and a hole here, and you can see the cables running along the ceiling, so that's very nice. And then we have one light left for above the command center. So we have been making good progress on the lights, now it's really time to put on the ceiling and test those lights out, but I first have to buy some more batteries for that. Other than that, we've been working on this. You saw that in a previous episode that we've been working on this, but we haven't showed you the lit up version. So I want to show you guys the lit up version in this week's episode. Other than that, I don't want to touch this area. I mean, I'm not completely happy with the cable management over here, but it was such a complicated thing to do that I really don't want to touch it. It is like it is, uh, it's not perfect. Um, like you guys can see, the cables aren't nicely tucked away. Here everything is nicely tucked away, safe, you can break the cables, there isn't stress on the cables. Here there is, um, because yeah, this design is pretty complicated. Uh, so yeah, this is just a bad spot, but I can't improve that much further than yeah, what we have right now. Uh, but to give you guys an ID, there is a uh, yeah, the battery box is over here, then there is a big connection board over here. Uh, there is a cable running through this wall to the connection board. That cable runs along this wall, underneath here, inside this wall, underneath here normally. Yeah, you can see the cable and that runs inside this wall, comes up and then we have our light here. We have our light behind that window and we have our light that runs along the ceiling here and will lit up this lower hanger. And then we have two more lights in the wall, right there and right there. You can see the connection cable for those. And then we had a light over here, but sadly enough it broke. We had a little bit of an accident when transporting the mock. So yeah, we broke the cable over there. Uh, that sucks, but I'm not gonna replace it. It's just too much of a, like, yeah. It's just a bit hard to replace that thing because we have to rebuild that whole section and I don't want to. So we'll have to leave it like this. So yeah, I've been talking a lot. Let's put on the roof and test out those lights, shall we? So guys, with that being said, all the lights are installed in this mock and I can't believe how amazing this looks. For more shots you guys will have to wait for the finale. We'll be having a pretty hard time making all the shots of the finale but we're very excited to start working on it. Very happy with all these lights, like this is the first time that we can install a huge amount of lights. Uh, no idea how many we have but I think it will be around 50 lights in this whole mock. So yeah. We can't wait to do more lights in more mocks in the future. But for now, this was an amazing adventure installing all these lights. And uh, like I learned a lot by doing so, so that's very sweet for future mocks. If you guys enjoyed, definitely drop us a like, comment your favorite like lit up area um, of the mock down below in the comment section and stay tuned for more videos in the future. Next week will be a luck bulk haul, so look forward to that. Other than that, I really hope you enjoyed and uh, yeah, definitely subscribe because the finale is coming and you guys really don't want to miss out on that. So yeah guys, so yeah guys, have a great day and bye bye.